morning guys I decided to make a video um, I get in the mail uh, stuff from from you guys sometimes and it's usually awesome and I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I've gotten I'm not gonna give names of who it is who sent it to me uh, but I will um, they're already opened. I should do this and, and not have them open first so you guys can be as excited as I am when it when I get stuff. But I wanted to show you um, some of the things. This box showed up today and um, I got an email and it just said that um, they wanted to send, uh, they said, oh, if you can get something to sell or Jerry, like where do we send it? So I told them P.O. Box. And, uh, and I, my sister actually, she checks my mail sometimes and whatever because she happened to be in town. And so she called me and said, I, um, you got a box in the mail and it's really heavy. She said, can I open it? <laughs> I said, I said, yeah, I mean, if you want to open it, that's fine. Let me know. And so she videotaped it, which I should, I'll try to edit in the video she sent me because I have a lot of fantastic people follow me, but I also have people who are weirdos. And we're talking weirdos like, I was worried it might be a head <laughs> like someone's arm I don't I don't know okay so anyway um this was a box and when she went to open it she's like it's it's super she couldn't even cut it open she's like I don't know what tape they use on this but we need some because uh it was a hardcore heavy tape so what I got in this box is uh you guys are gonna shit this is the coolest thing ever check this out now let me it's really heavy let me explain what it is when I show it to you okay it's a cross. It weighs about 45 pounds. Um, and here's the cool part about it. It was cut from the beams of the World Trade Center from the towers. The The guy who sent me this is a detective uh, in New Jersey and... Was it New Jersey and... I'm reading it right now. Um, New Jersey and New York City uh, volunteered... Uh, when the towers went down and he he survived both that and then also um, he said an additional uh, attack that he was part of 1993 there was a attack in the World Trade Center apparently 1993 which I don't know about now I have to look that up because I should is this something I should know clearly I should have known that but um, he has cut these sculptures of crosses out of the steel of the word of the Trade Center tower uh, rebel uh, he don't or he presented one to Pope John Paul II. Um, I shouldn't be on this list of people who gets one of these <laughs> because, well, you guys know me. But I got pictures um, of of some of the donations that he's made. Um, that is super cool. I don't know if you guys can see it. I am just, I don't know. I'm blown away. This is amazing. It is, I don't know where I'm going to put it because it's really heavy, uh, but it is super cool. And to know that somebody sent me that, I just, I don't know. It, this is the coolest thing. So, um, not a head in a box. Yay. I think it's a little small. It'd be a tiny little head, like a shrunken head in the box. Um, but I was, I couldn't believe it. That's amazing. Um, but it was a really entertaining video. My sister opened it. I don't know where I'm looking at this camera because it's weird. It's like a weird angle. Um, so that is, is super cool. The other thing that I get, um, and I just got this in the mail also, is I get books. So you guys send me, um, books and it is, it's the coolest thing. And I have a few that I've gotten over the last couple weeks and I wanted to show you some of them that I've gotten, um, because it's just a... I appreciate it so much that you guys, the, the people out there, some of the followers I have, have been through just hella um, conflicts in life. Um, I'm primarily military, but not always. So, like, this is Gordon Ewell. I know I said Gordon. Said, Gordy is the coolest dude ever. Uh, a lifetime of, at war. He got blown up six times, and the joke is that apparently he didn't learn the first time. So, um, but this is his story. Um... It's something, he's just a cool person. If you guys have a chance, check this out. Check him out. Uh, he likes to take out his eyeball and show it to you, which is pretty cool. He's just a cool guy. Super cool guy. Um, I got this book, Hope Found, 
was from a, a woman, Ginger, that spoke at a Full of Honor event. It is about her journey losing her husband, um, her journey remarrying into the military. It's just an entire thing. Um, and then God Country Golf is one um, that I got from an Army veteran who is also an Army widow. And Wesley I met also at a Folds of Honor event. And this, her husband basically saved the lives of, it, it's just nuts. God Country Golf, another great one. Um, that I've gotten and I've read some of these I know I started doing the book review thing of people that have sent me books but um, there's one I just got yesterday and I can't find it I don't know what I did with it where the hell did I put it okay I'll show you that one it's a poetry book I just had it in my hands and I, I what did I do with it anyways and then the last thing I want to show you is something I got sent earlier this year um, from a follower in Australia so where did it go I have the box right here apparently you guys might have to wait for another day for that one hang on I'm terrible oh I found it it fell out of the box damn it um so this was a gift that I got from Australia so first of all it's Rue balls. That's what it's called. So I was a little like, okay, what's this going to be? It is exactly as advertised. Check that out. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, uh, but it is a bottle opener made out of kangaroo testicles. So, yeah. That's, what do you think? No? Good? Cool? Yeah. I was a little surprised because um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this other than show it to everyone who walks in my office, basically. So, it was just uh, a whole bunch of stuff. And I'll show you guys the stuff that, that people send me. It's, it's awesome, it's amazing. You guys definitely, obviously, do not have to send me anything, uh, clearly, but that is some just amazing stuff. The books are, are I'm a huge reader, avid reader. Whenever I have time, um, I read. And so, just to get sent, um, this awesome stuff like the World Trade Center cross that's just amazing like something that I um, I don't even know. oh and then one other thing I gotta show you guys I forgot so this was given to me as a gift it was made by a sailor um, and I was the keynote speaker at the Montana Navy Ball but the cool part about it is the bottom so that star was flown it was on a flag that was flown on the USS Constellation Constitution. Good Lord. I've had a long day and it's breakfast time. Um, and so I got the, with the mug, I got a, a letter of authenticity, basically, um, that showed where the flag was flown. And it is just, I, I, it's, it's signed, it's stamped with the Navy symbol. This is just like so cool. I, it's sitting on my desk because I think it's amazing. Um, and it's beautiful. I don't know if he makes more and sells them. I think so. If you guys are interested, let me know and I will let you know where you can get one because they're just super cool. So on that note, I have stuff to do in songs right and all that jazz. Um, I'm pretty excited because I'm finally getting some, my office is like a trash hole, which you guys have seen it, but I'm finally getting stuff hung up and like there's, I ripped a spot off the wall. You can see right there. Um, and then I also just made, so you guys know the Patriot Horse, the horse painting, you can get a hold of that. But I just made them into coffee mugs. So if you guys are in, like horses, because uh, I'm a horse freak, obviously, and then patriotic everything, um, I made coffee mugs. So you guys can check those out too. But anyway, I just wanted you guys to see some of the cool shit that I get. It's amazing. I love it. And I love you guys. And I will catch you guys later. Uh, that's it for now. I got some songs to write, so catch you later.